But you know, I know, you, know, you don't like to get personal on the show. I know you just want to, but uh, I'm not going to get too personal okay. here. But Tinder, right? Uh, so yeah. you're a guy who's, you know, you were, yeah. you were kind of just with, starting out where I still, still have standards. I can still do the left swiping. That's and, good. Yeah. But also, I'm not. How, what's the limit? You, you're more. I think it's 50. 50. 50 swipes on right. Uh, likes. 50 likes. Oh, uh, real? Okay. Because I was wondering, just also swipes in general. Because okay. I'm not even sure I've made it to 50 in the day before. Yeah, it's a like, lot of work. Fire. When you're when you're actually looking at the pictures in the profile, yeah. you can literally spend a lot. But I used to swipe right on everything. It would take me three minutes. Yeah. Then when I started having standards, as you would say. Yeah. Then you start reading the profile a little bit, and then yeah. next thing you know, we're like, "Damn, this has been this is taking all day. It's been twenty minutes, uh, yeah, and I still got all these swipes left." Yeah, well, that's that's my issue. Like, I'm looking, and I'll just I'll just talk myself out, being like, "No, no." And also, when they say it too, it's like, "Mama, boss," and and unless <laughs> you got this and that, like I like. The looking for the sugar daddies, it's like, okay, no, yep, you're telling me, yeah, just swipe left. It's like, sure, you got it. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, I, and there's a lot that seem to say, like, I never super like on purpose. Yeah, um, I be, because I, I've seen, I almost, because I, I'm very hesitant to do the whole swipe yeah. thing. Um, so I'm like, moving, and I see it like, super like, nope, yes. I'm like, oh, okay, let me just use the buttons and stuff like it. Yeah, a girl and girls they use it differently than guys because girls get together with their friends mm. and you know they just laugh at guys you know and the reason why I know this is because I used when I worked on when I had this college campus mail job these yeah. these girls were like twenty and at the end of the day I would work for an hour back in this mail center and students would pick up their packages and these girls mm. there was three of them and they would get on Tinder they would like laugh at guys and stuff mm. like oh look at that and it's just like girls do that I can tell yeah. and on Bumble I've tried that with the girls message you first yeah. But you see, even if they message you first, they expect you to oh, still lead the conversation. Oh, yeah, it's just a hi. So yeah. it's just, a, yeah, and they're real late, but it's, like, it's amazing. If you say hi as a guy, unless you're yeah. looking, you're born. But, but when a girl yeah. message you, go ahead and defend them, Captain, say no. No, no, I, no I will, at the, at the very least, though, even if it's the useless hi, there is some interest, even if it's superficial, or they're like, ooh, he's an investment banker. Hmm. So, so yeah, if, if there's, um, you know, even if they message first and it's just a, Hi, what else you got? Like, um, you, you know, okay, well, there was something in the profile that they like. Meanwhile, with with Tinder, it's just, yeah, you both, you, you're like, yeah, you both have to like and match up and then, yeah. whatever. I got a few photos over the years, but I never actually, I never got close. The closest I got was this chick lived in Doylestown. This was right before I got my car. And the time I wasn't getting a car for her. Then I got I randomly got a car, and the time I was going to meet her, she was dating somebody else, which wasn't, oh. you know, a big problem. It was like I was dying to meet her. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's like these dating apps. I, women ruin everything. You know, they ruin oh. all. I mean, see, the thing is, as a nice guy, you don't want to do say it, that. It, it, but yeah. here's the thing: because think about it, guys are coming up with these ideas. Think about it, you're sitting at home, and you're you could be anywhere. You can be laid at home on the couch. You go on a fucking dating app. It's like ordering a pizza. The next thing you know, you, you could be getting some pussy, you know. Not, and it, instead, you can't. But, but but like you know, it's still a big generalization though to say that like to to use the uh, nice guys finish last friend zone thing. That, I'm that, saying, that, well, or, or well, I'm they, saying that women ruined the online dating apps. Or, they're not doing not, those guys. Uh, there are some nice guys who are pussies who don't do anything. No, and they like well, the reason they're selective is yeah, they like you know. You, you don't hear about men being raped for a reason. Men are the rapists. Like, like it's just there is there is a lot of fear. And oh, they just they just arrested that dude. That it was somewhere in this area that the girl was found dead in the park. And and oh, sorry, yeah. no, I, I got used to the collapse. Yeah. Yeah. De de dead in the park and um, sexually assaulted or whatever. And then yeah, um, that here the guy that did it like that. She it was. Is the guy that she, or he's at least arrested, so allegedly, this guy did the crime, and uh, but here he was on parole from a similar sort of case out in California, and then he's just like, oh, I'll just go to PA, and then go yeah. do that to a girl out there, and um, so I mean, there's there's a justifiable fear of it, but no, I understand that, but I'm saying that the the games. You know, uh, just like we were talking about, just like the profiles, they give you a bunch of rules uh, and demands. Yeah, and even uh, though some guys can be, you know, lame and say, hey, beautiful, and they can say things like, hi, be born and stuff, they don't have to uh, ever initiate anything. 
So they don't know what it's like. They think it's easy. Like, why can't no, they? Like, you well, talk to one girl who says, why can't a guy just come up and introduce himself to me? Why? But then, yeah, but then, then I've then done like, that before. Yeah, you try, and they're just like, it's like, why are guys hitting on me at, the, like. No, I, they're, they're, even worse, they say, like, do I, they say, like, do I know you? Like, an attitude. Like, I was yeah. like, no, I'm just trying to get your name. Oh, I don't want to meet you. Did I say, did I, did I say hi? Wow. You know? So that's what I'm saying. It's like, how do you, you know, it's not yeah, right no. on your forehead. Yeah. And it's like, and then on these day, dating yeah. apps, it's like, Look, if you don't want to meet, you just want to go out for a goof, you can. Yeah. But it's just like plenty of fish, okay, Cupid. You got all these girls like, I'm not looking for anything. My fr they all say the same my friend told me about it. Uh, it's like, yeah, why, why are you here? This yeah. is a dating site. This is My a friend app. signed me up for it. Oh, so your friend got your email, your password, yeah. and your birthday? Yeah, well, and, and also. And your zodiac sign? And, and also, too. And like, your cup size? Yeah, your phone. Well, but, <laughs> but, but. But yeah, like they're like, why are they still going to follow up then? It'll just yeah. be like, like yeah, my friend, my friend got uh, set this up for me and is now using it to catfish. It's not really me. Um, yeah. Oh, they say, oh, they say things like, uh, oh, I'm just getting ready to delete this, but but it's been there for months. It's like, why, why am I need to delete it yet? Who are? So bitter. Listen, I am bitter uh, and angry, I, I, I and the it. reason why is because I started out as a nice guy, and that was my fault, because you, know, you listen to your mom and your sisters and everything, yeah. they're like, be a nice guy, yeah. get us like it. So that was my fault. But, but then even when yeah. I started, like I said, this whole date, we are talking about the whole pickup artist, yeah. Big Tail. <laughs> <laughs> Big Tail, yo, we all got Big Tail's watching this shout out, yo, YouTube, Big Tail, Proud Boys, throwing up. <laughs> No, but listen, we're talking about this at the bar, and, you know, it's like, I really, I really try to, not just to get girls to like me, but to improve myself, everything, like, you know, work on your eye contact, work on your, they call it tonality, you know, that's just, that should, let's, let's, let's practice a PUA routine, so tonality is like, if you say to a girl, if you say to a girl, you're a cute, right, you don't want to say it like, timid, like, you're, you're cute, and girls like, what, you want to be like, yeah. you're really cute, <laughs> even, though, even though it sounds like you're shouting, you say it confident, like, yeah. you're really cute, instead of going like, Really cute. The girl's like, what? Yeah, you, know, yeah. You, you know, you're cute. Like, you don't want people to hear it. Yeah. So I, I, so I worked on that stuff for years. Posture. Same thing. You got a, I got a hunchback yeah. with boobs. I tried everything, and no matter what I did, I got nothing but flaky phone numbers, no dates. And it's like, I don't, I don't expect these chicks to just fuck my brains yeah. out. But as far as like, if I already got laid, here's my expectations. If I already got laid, let's say once in every four months, that's a low number to me. Yeah. Some guys expect to get laid every night of the week. Yeah. That would be fine. Yeah. Three times a year. That's yeah. a low number. Again, Why? It's, I think it's like what you ultimately say that um, it comes down to it works for the ones that don't need to be pickup artists, the ones that are just like yeah. handsome guys or they have a lot going Ryan on. Ryan Foster, or, if you're listening, or, Ryan Foster, we gotta get him on the show. He's a comedian from the cabaret, he's just tall. Oh, oh, I he think, usually goes home early. He, was, he, brought the, he brought a really good looking girl yeah, here. Yeah, that he was the only other besides you that that, that, that was when I was here, I saw everybody talking about her. And, and, being way creepier than what they oh, yeah. alleged that you yeah. are. Like just the the one dude basically saying he was gonna stalk and rape. Oh yeah, oh it's Scott Terry, yeah. No, no, what Scott Terry was fine. No, he Scott was, Terry was the one that did the memory. Oh yeah, he did that, but no, oh, the one okay. who's like the school librarian who talks in a tone that you don't oh. know is joking. It's like, well then I'm going to buy you. Well, I don't know why someone do a rape joke in this place. <laughs> oh, but, uh, yeah. no, but listen, so I really tried for years, and yeah, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I was coming off, you know, uh, a little too aggressive, maybe. Yeah. You can say whatever, but it's like, I yeah. really tried. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, if you don't try, it's like, if you don't approach, then you're not going to meet girls. No, but, you know? but it's, it's also, though, like, if you're saying, though, that there are some that they're very superficial, first and foremost. Yeah. Or if it's, if the two top ones are money and looks... And you have neither. Yeah. Then, then yeah. What is approaching gonna do? Yeah. But just get you an insult and yeah. damage you, where you think all oh, girls. So is that the main reason why you don't stick to approaching you? You, you don't feel like you have the credentials or. Um, or one of them. I'm I'm confident in my appearance, and I get like I get yeah. <laughs> not not currently today like oh. like, uh, but um, I I mean I. If you were to a gay bar right now, you, you oh, would be a hamster. Definitely. Uh, wait, what? A hamster. You know, you stick gerbils in their ass. You ever hear that old joke? But I haven't heard that term for them. Like, a, oh, know, I made that up. Some okay, there you go. I made it up a new term. It's new. Uh, your contribution to the LGBTQ community. 
That's uh, right. Hamsters. I'm always coming up with stuff, folks. No, but I'm saying that, yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah. See, here's the thing. I never had confidence myself, but I believed in the pickup part of stuff. Because they tell you, looks still matter, dude. Uh, yeah. Looks still matter. Oh. You got to see. Because girls say confidence, but you see, they don't know what they want, so they just copy each other's answers. They say the same thing. They go, yeah, yeah. all right, it's a, I, I want a guy who's but, confident but not cocky, mm -hmm. and I want a guy who has a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. So you can show them those two things. And it's still, no, no, and, yeah, but I'm not interested. No, see, I, I think that that's... That's still true that, like, that is that is a desirable trait, but it's like a fucking, like, a selling a used car where it has to meet, like, a five-point inspection, or they say, like, it's, if you fail any one of them, the looks, the financial independence, uh, psychological, mentally stable, um, and just, like, like, like sense of humor is number one. It's confidence, sense yeah. of humor, mental stability, financial stability, and looks. Like if you fail any one of them, yeah. you're out. Because yeah, you could you could be well. That's that's also though. If if you only fail one of them, that's that's probably what uh, causes um, abusive relationships. Where it's like like where they're like like he beats you. That's the one. That's the bad thing. The psychologically, whatever. They're like, yeah, but you know, he he loves me, and he's got this and that and that. Mm -hmm. um, so so yeah, like you can get away missing one, because uh, you can yeah you can even be physically violent to some women and they'll stay with it, or even the ones too. I mean, you see relationships where like politically, like like it's like. They have they share none of the same interests, but it's like yeah, like well, like yes, we do. We both like living in a house and having money and and fucking. But but it's like when you start talking about TV or any other interests, it's like yeah, you go do your whatever shit. Yeah. So, so you uh, agree with me that these girls are superficial whores? Some of them. Yeah, most of them. Well, this city, uh, especially, and especially, and race is definitely a factor. Yeah. This, uh white. This is something white girls are nicer to black guys most of the time than they are to other races of guys. Because they don't want to feel racist. They, they reject it. Yeah. So I had to walk up to a white girl in a bar, and what used to happen, and they would say, Get away if you go back to your friends. And then if a black guy, they would they want to say it to him, and they're like, Oh, I tell this black guy to go fuck himself. All he has to do is say, Well, what? Because I'm black. And then they go, Oh, no, let me suck your dick. But, wait, wait, that was, that was a. Confusing scenario. No, I've like, seen it. I've seen it happen. I've seen girl. Like, no, well, no. I mean, I, I, I get that. And and again, you're gonna see that liberal in, vagina. You're gonna see that. Well, we're we're in Philadelphia, and you're gonna and it's for the most part a liberal progressive city. Uh, so yes, you're going to see that. But what would you rather the opposite, where you go to like Bumblefuck, PA, or down to like Mobile, Alabama, and then you like come up and be like. Hey, white woman, and, and it's like, get away from me! I actually, I actually miss racist white people. <laughs> I'm serious, because white people are just so funny. Like, last night at the cabaret, I, I could talk about this. So last night we had six uh, black people, which is rare for this room. Yeah. One was an audience member. Um, three or four, no, actually, uh, you know, so we had a female, black female audience member, a male female, so they went together, and four black male comics. And I'm not going to say this this certain female comic's name, nice lady, but you could tell she was just being over the top nice to them. Like, you know, just like, hi, yeah. And she wasn't, you know, not, she wasn't talking to them like the way she would talk to like other people. Yeah. And it was just so cringy. And then when she went up, she talked, she, she, if it's just all white comics in the room, she would do her regular act. But there was black comics in the room, she uh, jazzes it up, if you know what I'm saying. Like she's doing the uh, laugh house, you know. And it's nice, but it's like, it's just phony. And it's like, I guess if you're white, you do have to be phony, because, yeah. especially at, if you work at any job now, because they have a, whatever it's affirmative action or not, you got to work with diverse people, so you can't be like, oh, this fucking gringo can't work the copy machine or something. But it's like, you know, you got to be, of course, you got to be phony in life, you know. But, I, but I'm just saying that I, if a white girl told me, get away from me, you spit, I would get a hard on, you know. Because like, <laughs> like, it's just, because oh. <laughs> I'm into that. The good old days, so. Yeah, like they're not, they're not, um... It's like, it's like what happened? It's like, what happened to white people? And then when I see these hipsters, I'm like, what the fuck happened to white people? Like this one, like when, when I get the mail at the post office in the morning, one of the guys from this other carrier comes in, and he's wearing like, uh, 
green, lime green socks, lime green shoes, hipster look, big beard, he wears goggles, uh, like a swimmer's outfit, like, and, and then he goes in to get the fucking mail, and I'm like, let's see that, and what, 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 what about the train, and he gets to Gerard, which is Fishtown, all these white uh, people, and, and like, yeah. they dress really, uh, you know, plaid shirts and everything, and then on top of it, they got the dirty, I don't wash mm -hmm. my hair, sh you know, I don't shampoo, and you, you see the lights uh, dryness in their hair, yeah, and it's hair. like, what the fuck happened to white yeah. people, man? What happened to you guys? Like, you guys just got, got together, it was like, we gotta change this, man, yeah. we gotta change this, well, you know, and white people was like, yeah, I gotta fuck all the black guys, yeah. That's, that'll make the world better, and it's like, yeah, you know, black guys are getting laid, and you say they deserve it, great, but it's like, it's, it's it's, and you can't talk about anything these days because it's, no, like, it's, like, it's, it's like it's like it's like how are we going to move forward if we can't talk about these yeah. kind of things? Well, that, that's it's fun. mentioning that how it's like uh, they they think it's censorship is the better course of action. There was a uh, uh, I, I saw some news in the BBC that uh, in, in BBC G by the way stands for Big Black Cock. Big Black Cock. <laughs> <laughs> or, or Big. Big booty cunt. Yeah. Oh. Cunt. Yeah. Oh. Cunt.